Hello friends, this third part of how to make follow, unfollow system using PHP with Ajax jQuery, and in this part we will make login page. In previous part, we have already make registration form, so new user can register into system. For make login page, we have go to login.php page, and under this page we have already included bootstrap and jQuery library link. Under this page we have to make login page, so here we have write form method is equal to post. Under this form first, we have write input type is equal to text, name is equal to username and required attribute, under this field user can enter his username details, and this field data is required for form submission. Below this we have write input type is equal to password, name is equal to password, and required attribute, under this field user can enter his password details, and this field data is required for form submission. For submit form data, we have write input type is equal to submit, name and value is equal to login, on click on this button, user can submit form data, and validate user details. Below this we have write, anchor text, with ref is equal to register.php, in anchor text we have write register, by click on this link user will redirect to login page. Now we have moved to write PHP code, and here we have write include statement, with database connection.php, it will make database connection. Below this, we have write session start function, it will start session on this page. After this, we have write dollar message variable is equal to blank value, under this variable, we will store error message, and display on web page. Now we want to restrict to access this page to login user, so here we have write if statement, and under condition we have write is set function with dollar session user ID variable. This condition will check, if this variable value is set that means user has already login into system, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write header method, and under this we have write location set to index.php, it will redirect page to index.php. Below this, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write is set function with dollar post login variable, this condition will check, if dollar post login variable value set, then it will execute if block of code. Under this variable, we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from Twitter user table, where username is equal to double colon username. After this, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement, and under this we have write dollar query variable, this statement will make query for execution. Now we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, this method will execute query, and under this method we have write array with key double colon username value get from dollar post username variable. After query execution, now we have write dollar count variable is equal to dollar statement variable with row count method, this method will return number of rows, 
which we have store under dollar count variable. Below this we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar count variable value greater than zero, if this condition true then username value is proper but suppose this condition false that means username is wrong. Suppose above condition false, that means username details is wrong, then it will execute else block of code, and under this we have write dollar message variable is equal to wrong username message. But suppose user has enter proper username then, it will execute if block of code, and under this we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method. Here we have store query result under dollar result variable. Now we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable by using this loop we will fetch data from this dollar result variable under this loop we have write if statement and under condition we have write password verify function with two argument like dollar post password variable and in second argument we have write dollar row password variable. By using this password verify method, it will verify user enter password proper with hash password, which we have store under database, if password match then it will execute, if block otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose user enter wrong password, then it will execute else block code, and under this block we have write dollar message variable is equal to wrong password. But suppose user enter proper password, then it will execute if block of code, and under this block, we have write dollar session user id variable is equal to dollar row user id variable here we have create session user id variable and in this variable we have store value of dollar row user id variable same way we have write dollar session user name variable is equal to dollar row user name variable here we have create session username variable, and under this we have store dollar row username variable value, so here we have store user id, and username data in session variable. Lastly we want to redirect page to index page, so here we have write header function with location set to index.php. This method will redirect page to index.php page. After this here, we have write echo statement with dollar message variable, it will display validation error message, if there is any validation error has occur. Now we have go to index.php page, and under this page we have used jQuery library link and bootstrap library link. We will use functionality all of library. First on this page, we have write include statement with database connection.php. It will make database connection on this page. Below this we have write session start function. It will start session on this page. After this, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write not operator with is set function, and under this function we have write dollar session user ID variable. This condition will check if dollar session user ID variable value is not set. That means user is not login into system, and try to access this index page, then it will execute if block of code.
Under this block, we have write header statement with location set to login.php, this code will redirect login page, if someone try to access this page without login into system. Now here we have write include statement with menu.php, under this file we will create menu using bootstrap, by using include statement, we can use all code of this menu.php here. So here, for make menu here we have use bootstrap library menu clone, when we have click on this link page must be redirect to index page. So here in href tag, we have write index.php, it will redirect page to index page. On top of the menu, we want to display login username, so here we have write echo statement, with session username variable, it will display login username here. In drop down menu, you can find two link, profile link go to profile.php, and logout link redirect to logout.php, so this is basic menu which have used here. Now we have go to logout.php page, and here first we have write session start function, this function will start session on this page. Below this we have write session destroy function, this function will destroy all session variable across whole system. Lastly we want to redirect page to login.php page, so here we have write header statement with location set to login.php, it will redirect page to login.php. Now we have check output in browser. So friends, now we have try to load index page of this follow unfollow system, after load index page, then it directly redirect login page, and on this page we have directly click on login button, then validation has display this field is required. So now, we have enter John Smith in username field, and in password field we have enter password, and press login button. After clicking on login button, page has been redirect to index page, and on index page we can see John Smith which is username here, and here we can see drop down menu. With two item like profile.php, and logout.php for logout from system. On this index page, we will add feature for share post, display his post, and follow user post also. And on this page, login user can see other user with follow button, for logout from system we have click on this logout link. After click on logout link, user has logout from system, and redirect to login.php, so here we have make login page here, and in next part we will show how user can edit his or her profile. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.